Infighting is fine once you're there. The question might be, how do you get there? Well, you just can't walk in because you could get knocked out. So you have to make a hole, as they say in the military. Uh, and you do that with the leg thrust. Now the leg thrust section of the wagey wheel, you can go, you can click back to that, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to do this in pretty much slow motion, not for obvious reasons. I can't hit Maurice like that. I lose a lot of students that way. <laughs> so we'll show you this, and then you'll see it on the bag, real heavy and hard and then relate that to the, to the body. So you have to, in order to be a good infighter, you, you must first get in. So these are a couple of good leg thrusts that'll get you in. All right, the, another one is just what I used to call a running punch, but it's nothing more than a sliding punch, and I'll show you that one too. Real slow, we did that at Tracy's. This one here is just a stomp kick. You'll see this, you'll see me doing this on a heavy bag. This can be worked from out here. And it comes in this way, looks just like a front kick in the beginning, and then it does this. Again, watch me do it on the heavy bag, and you'll see what's going on here. This leg does not bend that way. The main thing is to get your hands in this position. Now we just work this, this this position here. That's exactly what you're doing on this. So it comes from here. One. See where my hands are now. Right in through here. Once your hands are here, you can rocket those things from here. Obviously I'm doing this very slow. I like to work those off the same side. If I'm firing this stomp kick with my right leg, watch my hand. That elbow adheres to my side and I'm rocketing that open hand from here. So it looks like this. One, see the hand right here? And then it comes right over the top. I don't like to do it on the other side. I like everything coming off the same side. 